Capricho. Welcome back, everybody. This is the Cho Super Hyper Podcast. Woo! We're back. Yes. Full effect. We're doing it. We're doing it right. We're back in this thing. Now, if you um, are keeping up with everything, we are coming back and recording a second episode right after the one we just did. Yeah. Uh, And if you're just listening to the regular podcasts, thank you. Uh, but don't forget, we do have a special like one year anniversary type episode we just recorded uh, for the Don Brothers and Revice summer movies uh, we did together, like we did with uh, the Eats King Oger movies. Yes, um, it was fun. Go check it out. It's not that long either uh, because they're with those. We try to just just talk about the movie and then move on. Yeah, just pop them out real quick. But these. Ooh. These podcast episodes, we talk about our week. Yes. We talk about toys. We talk about breaking news. Oh, the most breaking. Which we'll have some yeah. later on. Um, But like always, because we don't really... Well, it's kind of planned because I put at the end. Um, The news will be at the end. Yes. Um, but can, first off... Uh, uh-huh. You can skip to that anytime. We have the... Uh, the list at the bottom the chapters are in the description and on the little timeline on the youtube video as well that's king Oja now uh guess what i'm super blast x and i'm toku tony howdy well, i forgot to do the introduction because like i said we're coming from a second uh recording <laughs> we're doing a second recording now yeah um don't forget to like comment subscribe uh we are here talk about this past week's superhero time and boy was it a superhero time it was one to remember for sure this is gonna be the last time that we can use these pictures yeah we're gonna have to find something quick um next week when i get the pictures for that episode i'm probably gonna use maybe some boom boom your promos or if i do get from the bumpers like this it's gonna look like complete ass oh yeah um so we'll see. Maybe I can ask uh, somebody who rips these. Somebody mm. who some somebody who what's these? Somebody who farts these. There you go. Uh, but I doubt it because these are broadcast. You can see up there, TV Asahi. Yeah. So we'll see what 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 next week looks like. If we have to, we'll just use this again. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna cry though. No, I won't cry. Maybe. One, one tear. Um, man, I'm gonna so miss nice these looking. guys. I'm gonna miss these idiots. Nah, not really. I can say that about Dumb Brothers. I can't really call these guys idiots. I miss Zen Kaiser a lot. Kaito? Yeah, I miss Kaito a lot since he wasn't in King Odra for a cameo. Nothing. Nothing. He. I hope he's in Boon Boonger. It's crazy. Probably not. I was about to say King Odra was pretty isolated. Hell no. King Oger very much had Yo Uger in it. So we'll see. Yeah, not very isolated when it's the only season that connects back to an actual Sentai. No, Ninja did it too. Did it? Mm-hmm. Ninja connected to two in the show. Whoa. Ninja went to or had Kaku Ranger and Hurricane in it. Oh, and there was Ninjas and Jiraiya. And Jiraiya. Yeah. Yeah, I forget about Jiraiya. Yeah. I love Uh, Metal Heroes. And then, of course, you know, Zyuger had Gokaiger in it. Yeah. 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 So, Kyoyuger being in this is not that weird. Okay. Um, How was your week? Oh, very hectic. I'm on call again. So, I'm having to do... Having to go wherever just to help out my patients, which are very nice. Uh... I did like this week I got to um, not to be as hectic as I would be normally for some reason since I'm taking somebody else, somebody else's week of on call I got nothing this week this whole weekend I got I got went out for Friday but that was it everything else have been radio silent I got a couple calls here and there 
but one of those calls was for a respiratory therapist and the other one was they didn't never call me back i never got an answer for anything i called the answer service again and they didn't give me any information nada so i'm glad i got a chill weekend uh that being said i did not make a soto all right because i've been playing helldivers 2 all right way too much oh god you're getting it's so in fun. huh you're getting in i'm getting in yeah of what of, of hell divers yeah yeah they fixed that already oh very cool. th very thankfully the the devs were panicking yeah real hard about mm -hmm. that uh yeah i had about two days of disconnectivity issues how much is that well connectivity issues but how much how much is the game thirty dollars that's not bad i know and it's from a sony playstation dev team mm -hmm. oh god it's so good well it's it's a sony published game yeah I don't know who developed it. It's so nice. Um, <clears throat> it's hard though, man. There's a lot of bugs in the game. They the hold on bugs but or <laughs> bugs and automatons. No game bugs. Okay, and glitches. Okay, because the devs didn't anticipate this much. Yeah, like such positive interactions and this much um, this many people getting into the game. There has been a lot of not game breaking but very game halting bugs like for me personally i'm dealing with a slow rank bug and a uh, level handicap bug i can only do the the basic missions and the easy missions i cannot advance to medium hard why not hell divers it's just a bug i it, the the requirement to do a medium mission Mm -hmm. is to complete one easy mission mm -hmm. that's all i do and i can't progress it doesn't have you sent an email up? doesn't track that huh have you sent an email up a bunch of people have a bunch oh, of you. people no but a, a bunch of people have and they've, they've been trying to fix the issue and only some people have it and only some people can get through it in a certain way <clears throat> so usually whenever i play i try to get with um my boy Devin. huh that's funny he just texted me right now he said no hell divers was played because I didn't play with them all day today. Oh, well, after this, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, um, it's a lot of fun and it's very, very hard and it's hectic. I'm hoping to get more gameplay on it so I can put it on my channel. Nice. But that was pretty much my week, just playing. Um, how was your week? It was fine. Um, that was an Nintendo Direct, uh, partner showcase. So they didn't talk uh, much about first party stuff. Uh, there was one at the end uh, from Nintendo called Endless Ocean. It's a Wii game. They're making a new version. It looks soothing and relaxing. 30 players online. Uh, Super Monkey Ball got announced. A new Super Monkey Ball got announced. That's always fun. Uh, Epic Mickey Rebrushed. I was interested in it on the Wii. I was interested in it. Yeah. Uh, when it came out on the <laughs> Wii originally. Um, I never got it though. Uh, maybe I will this time. Maybe. Uh, Penny's Big Breakaway came out, and that game looks amazing. Uh, it actually shadow dropped during the trailer, during the uh, the uh, direct. Oh, did it? And uh, I'm, I'm probably I probably will get that one. Uh, there was also a demo for this game called Pepper Grinder. It's a uh, indie game. Uh, I played the demo, really cool. I broke it a little bit, and I'm gonna put that video up on my TikTok. And YouTube short. Um, I straight up broke the demo. It's, what? It's pretty cool looking. Um, I do that when I play games. A uh -huh. lot of the time, I break them. I broke Celeste. I break... It's not hard, but I've broken Pokemon. I broke... Uh, yeah, I, I, I break games uh, on purpose because I want to see what I can and can't do. Uh-huh. Uh, I was going to ask, is that like an intentional thing or do you have this magic ability? No, I, I I try to I try to break them. I try to see like it. Okay, if he wants, if they don't want me to do this, can I find another way to do this? And usually I'll I'll do it, um, or not do it. Then that if I, if I can't do it, then good for you for uh for or you know the developer good for for you for stopping it for being smart. Um, for being smart. Oh, I broke Shovel Knight too. Yeah, uh, it 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 just happens. You know, games are games. Um, what else did they show on that direct that I was interested in? Not a whole lot, I'll be honest, but that's fine. Uh, because in two days, 
we're getting a new Pokemon Presents, which they do every year for Pokemon Day, uh, February 27th. Um, every year, we, I look forward to this because it's when we usually when we get the announcements for anything Pokemon for the rest of the year. Yep. And they're really good about that, where if they announce something on, on that showcase, that presentation, it's going to come out by the end of the year, usually. Um, you know, two years ago, they showed Scarlet and Violet. Last year, they showed the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. This year, uh, it's up in the air. Uh, we're not getting another generation. We're not getting Pokemon Gen 10. Um, I've been seeing a lot of rumors. I love seeing fake rumors because people are just just say whatever they want i just read one on fortune uh of somebody who was leaking quote unquote what's going to happen on pokemon day or what, what, what game's going to be announced uh -huh. as if they had played it all through already like <laughs> what are you what the hell are you talking about right he's saying stuff like oh this is the gym leader list and he had wrote down all the list and then like uh uh the evs are this now they're similar to this like no you don't know that there's no way you know all that <laughs> uh post game is this that and the other like <sighs> sure buddy um and i'm just gonna keep yapping because i know you're not super pokemon man but uh maybe some of the listeners are yeah um i think we are due for a new remake and it's not a uh johto one i want to go back to univa and with the scarlet and violet dlc 2 blueberry academy Referencing Unova a bunch, I think we're getting that. Um, now, what they did three years ago with um, Arceus was they did that and a remake of Diamond and Pearl, like a proper like remake, straight up remake. Um, so, in a sense, we went to Sinnoh that that region twice. We went in the in November and then we went again in January. Uh, but the January one was ancient Sinnoh. Uh, it was even called a different name, Hisui. Um, <laughs> okay. Cut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to cut that out <laughs> if you hear it but when i say cut you know cut right before that yeah i don't know why we're laughing but we're back hey um what was i saying oh yeah Sinnoh. yeah uh sino uh so we went to we sino again even though it's called hisui but it was sino um if they do that again i can see something where we get a remake of black and white and i hope it looks nice not like what we got for diamond shining, shining diamond and well brilliant shining pearl. diamond and brilliant bri brilliant diamond and shining pearl it is um because i didn't even finish those i didn't even really get that far in them and i bought it shamefully um i don't know it, maybe i just i'm not super into that region i played it too much Black and white, though, I, 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 those are my favorite regions, I think. Uh, Unova, that that storyline and all that. So I would love a remake of that. Even if it is just a remake, fine. Um, but I would love to get a Legends type for that. And I've always wanted it to be a Legends game about Genesect, which is a bug uh, robot thing, um, either in the past where we see his normal form because Genesect's story is kind of like Mewtwo's story where in the movie i'm sure everybody remembers mewtwo got like a armor set and they were like trying to control him yeah genesect is like what if that worked and they fully armored oh. him so genesect is kind of it's a bug and uh he's fully plated like an armor and that's yeah. how he is now so it'd be cool if we go back in time or whatever and we see genesect the way he was intentionally or uh the way he was originally where we see like his bug form and everything um maybe we have to like prevent that from happening or something i don't know um or then this is the rumor is a johto legends game where it's about celebi or something like that i don't want to go back to johto i'm tired of kanto and that's the main reason is if, if we ever do go back to johto 
guess what we're going to kanto too and god damn i'm tired of kanto i didn't even finish let's go pikachu either um and I, my favorite pokemon is blastoise i'm tired of gen one i'm tired of gen one i am tired of gen one um let's move on let's not stop that uh so for pokemon presents i hope we get something unova something good unova and my other big hope for pokemon presents is pokken 2 because i love pokken Ooh, pokken 2 and uh blastoise being added to that was just the best and i want to do that again i want to fight with blastoise against charizard again um maybe for the switch too maybe um but we'll see uh and then so that direct was on thursday wednesday wednesday that direct was last week and then uh friday twice got a new album out oh that's right uh twice had their 13th mini album release um and they were here in america to promote it and they had all kinds of little shows and stuff they were on the today show in the morning um if you haven't go check it out the album is called with youth uh, but it's spelled with w-i-t-h u y-o-u a plus sign t-h mm -hmm. with you nice um and the songs are really really good uh i got you one spark rush bloom new new and uh you get me uh which is a good closer first songs i got you last songs you get me nice um <clears throat> so they had a new album come out and that's gonna lead into my thing i didn't make anything either oh snap um but when we come back i'll show you i did get some stuff and it is related to twice Ooh. so uh, we're gonna take a quick break when we come back we'll do my little like toy time show thing <laughs> yeah it's gonna be really short because you're not gonna have anything to contribute to it really no i have nothing um but after that we'll get into the superhero talk i promise give me a pizza with nothing with nothing And we're back. Uh, I got a couple of albums. A couple is an understatement. Uh, so on Friday, uh, on my way home from work, I stopped by a Target. Uh, and I did that knowing I have some on the way from Korea. Oh my god. From Korea. I said some. Uh, so I pre-ordered um, a signed album. Okay. That's from Twice themselves. Uh, but I was seeing other people getting their stuff. And I got FOMO. So I went and got two Digipacks, which is smaller versions of the uh, album. With They're each specifically for a member. So top corner and then there in the center. That's two different mini albums. And you get all the stuff inside. Oh, cool. Uh... The, oh, I see. The yeah, you can see. Yeah, that goes like that. And yeah, that goes like that. So, postcards, PCs, the photo cards, and then the sticker. Then there's also a uh, poster, but that's the same poster for everybody. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this was Friday, and I was like, yeah, that's nice. That's cool. It wasn't enough for me. <laughs> so on Saturday, oh my god, I went out and got again. I got another geo sticker i got another nyan pc this is from target so they have an extra pc an extra photo card uh these are the five cards that came in this full album and, and that's another mini digi pack with uh chewy so i have there's nine members in total uh-huh i got the last three in order the last three dayun cheyong and chewy uh i have two others coming two other digi packs I have the one signed album coming. Um, yeah, the the signed one should be coming this Tuesday. The other ones I ordered from another place should be coming the week after. Um, this is. I didn't expect to get this many, but. When it's new and it comes out like this, 
just like with the toku toys it's yeah. better to get them before they're out um i even today made room on one of my shelves i moved shinkinger mech and put up my twice albums that i've gotten so far um you get a nice binder i'm gonna put the cards in there properly and everything uh, but if you're listening or you're watching and you see pcs here you want to do some trades hit me up i only have doubles right now of this nyan right here I have her there and here she follows me a lot when i get new albums like there she is again i've gotten her in everything i've pulled so far for with youth um I have a hard time getting Geo, my favorite, my, my bias. I got her sticker. That's cool. And I also have a hard time pulling Mina for some reason. Uh, the last album from last year, Ready to Be, um, I never got a Mina. I got five Ready to Be albums, but not one Mina. Um, she'll come. I had to do a trade to get her eventually, but she, she'll get here. But yeah, see, like I'll get her ancillarily. Like That's her poster there. And that's her postcard here and sticker but it's hard for me to get her photo cards uh yeah there's three versions of the full album there's nine versions of this um yeah the photo cards are just really nice i don't know if you touched them or you like mm. they feel like you know trading cards uh -huh. that's kind of what they are mm. um trade card between the fans yeah that's nice and they're there's a lot this is what i have so far i'm showing whoa look who tony have different ones oh, i like trading cards your favorite yeah on the back it's different oh that's cool um yeah i was actually while you were flipping through the photos here i had didn't see my favorite there she's there i see her right there in the group photo you don't have a favorite if you don't know her name that's true but i haven't but I, I don't see her anywhere else other than the group photo listen to her his favorite is jung young which is impeccable taste um her chorus in the new song uh, one spark the new music video yeah i can't stop thinking about it like she does such a great job her vocals are amazing uh yeah she's not on this page but she is here i did pull her three times there's her right jung -Yong. there's jung young Oh shit! I can't. And even there's see her. Jung Young. Oh okay. And these are, I really want these. So, there's different sets, right? right? Like, so you can tell this is like the same set. Yeah. But they're all random, and this is also the same set, the bare ones. There's nine of these. One where each of them are wearing that. There's nine of these where each of them are doing that. Um. And then there's another set where if you pre-ordered from this other place. A set of, again random just like pokemon cards uh where each of them have a crown uh, okay. those are the ones i want those really bad and those are gonna be super hard to get so uh, hopefully we'll be able to trade with people hopefully although those crown ones are probably gonna be the most coveted um yeah this is this is who i am now <laughs> no um this unfortunately hit when there's a lull in pre-orders pre-orders for sentai oh i see i see <laughs> i see i see which happens you know um and it is around this time when that happens for sentai um so Damn it. what it's funny you say that because i'm right now because it's i'm not getting picked up it's not getting picked up so you don't have to stop talking because i'm right now <laughs> i'm looking at um headphones to get okay for myself audio technica headphones I, i'm not an audiophile but i do like yes you are that. yes you the hell are i, I don't want to claim that title though because i don't have like a super masterful setup and like a super crazy nice way of listening to things and playing things but i do like being into audiophile things so i'm trying to get these new headphones these uh super nice ones but god damn it's expensive Super expensive, mm -hmm. but that's only because it's like, oh, well, I'm not getting anything for Kamen Rider right now, and Soda's the only thing I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, I don't have anything that's coming in normally, so I'll, I'll just get this. But yep. I haven't got anything yet. That's how that happens. Yeah. Um, it's funny because I get 
being in this, you get doubles of a lot of stuff. So you get doubles of the stickers even. These are stickers. Oh, cool. And I still don't want to use them. Like, I could put them on my, like, my water bottle and stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to, like, because they'll get damaged and then they'll look bad and I don't want that. Uh, this is cool. It's like a see-through thing, but you put it on, like, paper like that and you can actually see what it is. Oh, cool. Um, there, these posters, there's one in each different. There's one different one. It's them holding a flag with their colors. She's wearing heels on grass. That's crazy. Um, that's a pre-order pack. You get a full set of cards. Oh, wow. Uh, they've been doing that for a while. And I got to admit, that is the main thing that got me into the PC. Because that's an easy way to get a whole set of whatever that, um, whatever that theme is. Oh, yeah, I bet. I just tossed him very nice a pack and i think that might be my favorite set from ready to be that set of uh, that, those those uh costumes wardrobe oh yeah, yeah i see yeah and they're pink i like pink oh, this is actually really nice mm -hmm. wow mm-hmm it's it's it the, the the way they get you is the music is catchy and then you find out about the actual girls and they're all girls super endearing they're all dorks that's a good word that's one right there they're all dorks jung young is yeah. the second one um i don't know why that's the i mean you know why but i don't know why that that's the one that i pick I don't know why. Why do I know why? I'll say it to you off camera. Because she's pretty. Yes. Okay. In my opinion, she's the prettiest one there. Yeah. You couldn't see her. Did you put him back in order? God yeah, damn it. Of course. Okay. I didn't even take it. <laughs> I didn't even take him out of order. Uh, It's been a while since I've talked this much about K-pop twice. Anything like that. Um, and I think we were due for it. Um, I have three more albums in my shelf that I have not opened. I want to see what's up with that. Um, <laughs> got a deal from an eBay seller where they were doing name your price. And I did, uh, I lowered the price and bought two. Like, could you do two of these albums for $15? And they did. One of them I got was brand new sealed and the other one was open in a bag, in a plastic bag. Oh. And I looked at it and it was missing all the PCs. It was missing a bunch of stuff in it. Dang. So I told the seller and they told me to send it back. And I said, okay, I'll send it back and then you'll send me the replacement. Um, I shipped it out on Saturday. Uh-huh. And I got a full refund today. Whoa, okay. So I got a album. Yeah, for free. For free. Uh, we'll see if they realize their mistake whenever they receive what I sent back. Yeah. Although the email, I asked them, hey, I got two. Do you want me to send both? Like, do you want me to return the whole order um, or just the one that came mm -hmm. open? And they said, no, just send the one that is messed up. The one that you received defective or whatever. Yeah. So I did. But we'll see what happens. If they charge me for one, that's fine. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Damn, that that is pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's on them, and you stated so. Mm -hmm. Yeesh. Yeah. Uh, one more thing, I'm going to bring up because I'm here already, anyway. Yes. <clears throat> my other group it's not k-pop it's j-pop uh with ran ishi ran oh, yeah, ran the one that i put a link to in the description for all of the episodes yeah the campaign they're running oh she, it's over she's she's she won she's in the group uh they just did their debut concept uh trailer yesterday and uh she she's in it so it's kind of jarring a little bit to me um because she was in a girl group mm -hmm. a girl group in japan like a little girl group 
now she's moving on to like a real group yeah so they're doing let's see if i can do this nope My head. possibly probably not like there's her photo card look at that oh cool it's 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 weird to see she's doing the stuff i'm seeing with twice or she's gonna start doing the stuff i'm seeing with twice um it's great uh yeah see there's the bear stuff where is oh this is cool you like this oh it's all her mm -hmm. <laughs> nice Oh, that, is oh, pretty, Jung Young. that is pretty legit. I like that style. Yeah. It's great. It's like a Game Boy Color. I mean, it's like a Game Boy Game. Boy game. Um, but anyway, they have their their um, their concept trailer. So they're moving along. They're going to debut next month. I'm very excited. Uh, the reason, the main reason I was into Girls Girls, which is the group she was in, was mostly because of her. And now she left and now she's making her own group. So I'm going to focus on that too. Nice. <clears throat> but if they're going to start doing photo cards, there's no way in hell I'm going to be jumping in that. Mostly because it's one out of 11. It's a lot. My chances are going to be in hell because I don't care about any other girls. Eventually, I probably will. <laughs> um, but here with Twice, I'm fine with whoever I get, really. Right. Uh, I'd prefer Momo and Geo, but... I like them all, so it's fine. Um, I think that's it for the K-pop minute. And that's probably what this is going to be. The K-pop minute. The K-pop part of the show. Uh, because, again, you didn't really have much to say or contribute. I got nothing. We didn't do Shoto or Soto or anything this week. so we have Pizza with nothing. At least, at least, we talked about something here. Yeah. Of, yeah. Um yeah hit me up if you see this and you also follow twice you're a once you have any trades you're interested in let me know bias is momo bias is geo then momo then mina um yeah we're gonna take another break when we get back we're gonna get into super hero time starting with gotchard we'll be right back back got chart time let's got go chart. what episode is this tony this is episode 24 sudden turn forbidden steel rider Woo! yeah now that kanji or hiragana kanji katakana that's a, that symbol there yeah that's in red uh in the translation is 10 oh okay so what is it there nothing Oh, forbid ten, forbid ten, forbid ten steel yeah. rider. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. They're being punny, the Japanese, mm. as they they do. never do. The, oh, they, yeah. They, as they do with every they word. Cannot stop it. Uh, what did you think of the episode? Man, I really liked it. This adds not much, but it does uh, do a lot for the character of Minato. Because yeah, we're finally getting something. I mean, we all know. I mean, the the, the audience knows he's not all bad for real. Even though he tries to act it and look it and gray on obviously thinks that he's bad. We know that he's going to turn. That that just has to happen. That's what's being implied at the end of the episode. Yeah. But uh, I also really like this. Episode starts with in media rest. Yeah. Or what is the other thing? In media rest or. Um... Oh, wow. I totally forgot. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh we get some new shots in the intro uh that's really the only one i just liked it because she does that cool pose yeah and, and i like that suit yeah she's in the suit now what was weird to me was that this was the only suit that got featured yeah we didn't see um unison sunny corn whatever um you know because in with the other ones that they like uh -huh. with gotcha at least it goes through like at least two forms with this one she just went straight to this one and that was it uh, which is all right i'll take it uh featured cards are repli unicon and kazusu kazuso which is a i'm assuming a pun on a racer 
scary. Yeah, scary man actually. Warp Terra. And the amalgam of the day or the week. Yep. Very scary indeed. He's part of the uh, ancient uh, qualification of, of uh, Kemi's. He's uh, with Revy. He's a dinosaur. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who else we've seen? Oh, X Rex. X Rex. And um, oh, the tri- the Triceratops. Oh, there, that's Sarah, the one. Whatever. Tricera. Tricera. Yeah, I, I like this episode a lot just because it um. It also adds a surprise twist at the end, um, in that we get to we don't see him, but it's implied, and we see in the next episode that the man comes oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kudo Fuga, which is uh, the man we think has died like twice already in the show. I hope he gets to have a. a- Sorry, I was yawning while I was saying, talk, saying that. <laughs> I hope he gets to actually have a moment with his daughter. Oh yeah. Like actually, we'll see. I also like how um, <clears throat> we're getting more introduced to like forbidden stuff in the alchemy things. Like, there's no rules to this. It's just magic plus, right? Yeah. But I like that we get a little bit more of like, this is forbidden. Don't do that. Or, yeah. You can only do this if you do this. Um, I like that a little bit. The what is this and why does this exist? Right, this is uh, it's never been showed anywhere in the previous episodes or in any substantial media that I think have happened that we need to charge the rings like we're fucking Green Lanterns. Well, even that, it's charging the ring, but the reason this exists is because he says Rene is tired every time. Then make her some like energy drink or something, right? Yeah, I mean, why charge the ring? Yeah. I mean, you can you can get away with explaining it, sure, but like, it's, what? I'll, I'll tell you why. It's a cool thing to sell for your yeah, rings. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. P Bandai. Because you can buy these P Bandai rings. Mm-hmm. Uh, this kind of took me out. It's scary. Uh, the actual feet and arms, the legs and arms of this dude, like actually, they're real. Yeah, they're real. They just put them on this eraser thing. And you know what's the best part? They made like that picture and they didn't have like, they took a picture of a dude, right? In a suit Uh and they just upscaled the boots and the gloves. So the legs and the arms look okay, but the boots and the gloves look like butt because of how scaled up they are. You see how like the boot takes up his whole leg. Mm -hmm. That's a real man in a boot. They just had to make that picture bigger. Uh, that was a cool little effect, the way he erases food. Yeah. Yeah. Or erases everything. Uh, and then, this is the clip show. Clip show. We get a clip show for the first half of the episode. <laughs> um, I don't know. <clears throat> I just want to say, it's been good so far for Gotcha that we haven't gotten a clip show. I was just very surprised that half an episode is dedicated to a clip show. No, I mean, this is around the time because it's about halfway through the show because the Sentai ended. So it makes sense. Um, I was really hoping we didn't get one this year. No, they have to do it. They have to do this every 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 year. For the kiddos? Yeah. Because I, 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 I had a friend also in another, disc, in another server ask, like, why? Why? And I was like, well, probably for the people who are tuning in to watch the end of King Oger. Yeah. To <clears throat> like, oh, I only watch Sentai, even though I doubt there's that many people. I only watch Sentai and I'm excited. So I'm going to watch the thing before it to get ready for it. So you go on and you tune in and you're like, oh, this is what Gotchard is. Okay. So it makes sense that they do this. I just don't care. Yeah. I mean, why would yeah. I? It was, we've already <laughs> seen this all. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, whatever. Clip shows whenever you're already in a show, and uh, clip shows whenever we are so in depth into a show that we watch is just kind of like a eh, episode for any community. Whenever we do, because you know we talk about this stuff, and we're in the talks, we're in the talks of everything. I think yeah, because we do this now. Yeah, we talk about the episode. Excuse me, I'm yawning again. <laughs> Excuse me, I was yawning again. But yes. You're welcome if you're using your headphones. 
Um, yeah, because we talk about this every week. It's like, oh, well, we we already know this because we we talked about it. Yeah. Um, so I only cap- captured a few uh, from the flashback stuff. Um, she used portals. That's like warp warping. Yeah. So I was saying stuff that I guess you didn't know. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you do know. But what happens in this episode is um, Ichino safe like fuses kind of uh-huh. with Steamliner, right? Yes. So apparently that is akin to Malgam. Yes. It's a forbidden alchemist technique. So with her, she was using the same kind of portals that we see Warp Terra using. Uh-huh. So I was thinking she did that forbidden technique with Warp Terra. Right. But we see Warp Terra, so I, I guess it's not. So maybe warping is just like its own separate thing? I don't know. Well, if it is, that guy, Grayon. Yeah. His name should be Goldon. Grayon. Um, Goldar. Was, he said when he got the Warp Terra, he was like, oh, the card I've been ho- ho- waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you already had her to be able to do this. You, <laughs> you could have totally got somebody else to do this, right? Like. That it just makes that power not seem as essential to Warp Terra if you can get it like this too. Unless, yeah. like I said, she was she did that forbidden thing with Warp Terra. Uh, reminder that, that they have toys of these guys, little toys. Buy the toys. Uh, Buy the Gotchard brand eraser. So. Oh yeah, he's died like three, four times. Remind, remind everybody of this guy, he, that he exists. Oh yeah, so this is an active clip show, so it's only half of the episode, but also we learn a little bit of new things in between each section. So here we learn that Minato actually killed somebody. He killed a dude ten years ago. I'm assuming in the same incident where uh, Grayon took, or where um, F- Kudo Fuga took the belt. Uh, Minato killed a guy. That's fun to know. And apparently he's really scarred by it because we see a flashback of like horror and terror of that. Well, it's like uh, blackmail. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about it like that. You're right. It's like blackmail straight up. You could be using that against him to do deeds, horrible deeds. And Ground could have just erased everyone's memory to help him out and use Minato in that way. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then we're out of there. Or maybe it's not that deep. I it likely isn't. <laughs> I'm very glad that Spanner continues to not wear his tie. Yes. Uh, it's a bummer that that, not a bummer, but whatever. That uh, my theory on her being dead this whole time isn't isn't anything. Oh, I wish it was. <laughs> uh, where are we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just a passing thing. Like I said, while we're watching three episodes later, they find out that she's not dead. Like a passing no, thing that, real quick. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're talking about him, about Minato. And he goes, actually, he's not bad. She's still alive. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We've already had a couple episodes where that happened. Yeah. Um, and it could have been if... I were writing it or someone else was writing it. It could have been a thing where they already talked about that off screen. True. But as a kid show, you have to make sure everybody, everything that happens, happens when the cameras are on. Um, Is he looking at the camera? No. Ichinose? Yeah. He's looking at us. He's looking at me, dude. It's kind of freaky. Looking right at you. He's looking right at me. If he's looking at you, <laughs> Abba's looking at me. Oh snap! Uh, this is supposed to be a origami thing from Minato. Yeah, it's his handwriting apparently. Tell him to meet. I know when she said that, I was like, huh? "How do you know? How that? do you what? We're doing this weird, more weird Japanese shit?" Yeah, we're students, romance their teachers. Persona yeah, right. three. Perso- <gasps> Persona three Tatsuka reloaded. Just get it, please. Um. Yeah, this oh, amalgam yeah. looks pretty scary. I like this better than the tiger that we had. I'm liking how, um, as amalgams progress, it's not 
super like predictable about what it's gonna be. This is terrifying. This is scary. And yeah, the the warp portals get taken. Theme liner saves Ichinose. I thought I got a picture of where they landed. Maybe it's coming. Where okay, they they go to Grayon. Grayon takes them. Yeah. Hey you say with the warping ability that uh warp terra as the amalgam uses mm -hmm. just gets up all of the cards mm -hmm. every one of their cards mm -hmm. nothing safe except for um uh valvarad's and mad jade's cards they keep them because they put up their shields but ichinosa's cards just get ripped from them the yeah. first steam liner yeah except for steam liner who is uh not as active as hopper even though c is stronger apparently with the nine yeah um and then yeah we get the the dark versions susti Repli versions oh yeah minor and unicorn new form oh new form for dread i he still says dread type zero though i thought it would no, say it's a type one. Oh, did he mm -hmm. oh shoot i'm not reading i should have uh, brought that up well, that's when, good. When it, when it happened, I wanted to bring it up, but I don't know. Uh, cool dual henshin. Uh, in the production notes, the reason. So in the episode at the beginning when we were doing the clip show, uh, Gotchard asks, "So what is a commander anyway?" And she gets after him like, "That's a oh yeah yeah, that's a thing or whatever." Um, that happens because. I guess in the the blog notes of this episode technically iron gotchard isn't a common writer what because he fused with the kemi he's oh, more right. of amalgam than writer uh so i don't know how they're gonna address that later it's like um it's like how i don't know if you've seen common writer amazons but originally the guy that is uh omega he is that monster form, and then he puts on the belt, and then he's the writer. Mm. Like Mach, uh Valverad. Yeah. But yeah, Valverad is a you know great chemist and all this. And uh, we saw uh, Mad Wheel turn into Mach Wheel. Yes. Apparently that's Valverad's doing with his black flame and everything, his alchemy. He did that. Oh, okay. Gotchard does the same thing uh -huh. where he turns Steamliner into Ten Liner wow it's the same thing so um again this is from the blog uh -huh. not in the show so i don't know if this is going to be addressed at all uh but we'll see and then fight ensues fighting's okay i mean it's all right I, yeah. oh there it goes yeah. oh they're nice yeah just straight directly on him rains mm -hmm. cards on him and again he has live camera feed footage of the fight maybe that's how no because they just got warped hair. <laughs> Maybe they start getting the camera footage. Ice, uh, ice attacks. Yeah, she. Well, yeah, and she's not even in the ice form. It's a crystal attack, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and then he has a rapier, uh, which is cool. Very nice. Like very a unicorn, cool. I guess. I like yeah. how he has three horns now. The horn for the horse, mm -hmm. the horn on his head, and a rapier. Mm hmm. Mm, oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Goes up. We don't see his face, but we see that nice cape of his. And Gotchard says, or Ichinosa says, Oh, it's you! And then cuts to black. Yeah. And then the episode preview spoils the hell out of who it is. <laughs> yeah. But uh, end of the fight, he, they get whooped on, obviously, because Minato is a much better chemist, alchemist, than the rest of them. Uh, and we get to see, whenever Gotchard comes back, that he's been gifted something new there no the cards i thought that was just, it just looked funny the way uh <laughs> just falls in the air what no yeah like she slips in the air it looks like yeah um but yeah they lose their form their cards for those forms and then yeah there it is he's gifted each of us is gifted uh this ring A here new p bandai ring yeah so it's not stated in the episode and we haven't seen it yet but in the same way that Kudo Fuga changed Rene's ring to the white ring or to the orange ring. I'm Plastic ass birthday ring. Yeah, he did that to Rene. So I'm assuming 
he also did that for Gotchard. But again, maybe not because Kudo Fuga's ring is this ring. The same color and everything. So maybe he gave it to him or yeah, so he maybe, stole it. Yeah. So this is either his ring, Kudo Fuga's ring, or he upgraded Gotchard's ring to be gold. Let's see. And he changes steam liner to 10 liner. Do you see his finger on the card? Yeah. Is that green? Oh, I see it. The green card. You best believe. Yeah, he uses a green uh, card. Yeah, a green card. That's cool. That's how they do it. To upgrade it from a 9 power to a 10 power. That's cool. I like it a lot. Yeah. I like the, uh, the convenience of, I can do this now. He uses one card. Yeah, it just uses one card, but I also like that I can do this now. That also pushes the buy this toy. Buy it. Yeah. Here we get this new toy. Thomas the train engine. Mm-hmm. So cool looking. Still blue question mark. He, he reminds me of uh that one saber. Again with the saber. That one saber character with the with the trident. Oh, yeah, yeah, Durandal. Yeah, yeah, because he has the, the that visor with the the lines on it. The only reason I know Durandal's name is because of Sabella. <laughs> um, have you seen the leak that came after this? The suit that's coming after this? Uh, Yes. So this, so they have Gotchard, Fire Gotchard, Iron Gotchard. The next one is Platinum Gotchard? Yes. Wow, look at that. And what happens is this... It's sort of a cast off situation situation oh yeah so uh we get platinum gotchard from that again yes uh i talked about it in the episode where we talked about battle familia we're gonna see this suit maybe once or twice and that's it yeah yeah, yeah it's definitely. a shame not that it's my favorite suit but it's a shame that they they do that so often for these um, we're just talking about the leak. I'm not gonna show a picture of what he looks like because you can see that yourself. Yeah, on Twitter. Um, on X.com. But that, it's a cool looking form. I'll be honest. Uh, I just wish they wouldn't do that because they did that also with almost every writer, where they have a, a shell form and then it comes off become. Oh yeah, yeah. All, all most all the most recent ones, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Elemental Dragon. Yeah. That turned into, uh, um, I don't remember shit for, for Saber. <laughs> no, yeah, but you're right uh, with that. And then Geats had, um, that one boost form. Boost three. And then. Boost nine. He added, no, Z, Z uh, Zin. Oh, yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Boost three and then Zin. Yeah. Um, the point is they, they do it a lot and. It was like a waste to me, but whatever. It's not my rodeo. <laughs> yeah. And I, then I do like it for the toys that we can get from it. I like his arms. Yeah. Because it's ridiculous. Um, and I, uh, I, I thought this was gonna be a berserk form. It seems like it isn't. We'll see what happens at the end, especially with how he came out here. He looked pissed and ready to fight for real, for real. Um, yeah, but I don't think this is gonna happen. I think it's gonna be normal. Yeah, probably. I Hopefully, mean, the only thing with this form is that it's a forbidden technique, quote unquote. So it does hurt him, which is par for the course for berserk forms. So I hope we'll get to see that. I thought the reason it was a forbidden form was because they um, they said you could die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it hurt. Maybe it hurts him. Like, like your body doesn't like can't handle that amount of magic. I'm sorry, alchemy. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, that is pretty much this episode. Oh no. Oh. Well, yeah. I think that's all I have for Gotchard. I give it six ten liners out of seven, out of nine. What would you give this episode? I would give this episode seven ten liners out of ten. Nine ten liners. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> what about you? 
Uh, I don't, I don't rate these. It was I. Right. It worried it happened. Yeah. Half a clip shows. Uh, I. Right. I hope it was. I didn't want it to be a clip show, but that's fine. Um, maybe we'll get a three parter out of this hmm. because of the clip show. We'll see. It's gonna trick us. It's gonna be half clip show for this one, and the third episode is gonna be the end half of the clip show. Where everybody's happy and smiling. Yeah, I can see uh, Platinum debuting at the end of the next episode. But then that means the next episode will be the fight. So. Oh yeah. We'll see. Cause they didn't they didn't tease Platinum for the episode preview. No, we haven't even seen it yet officially. No. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna take another break. When we come back, we're going to talk about King Oger, the end of King Oger. Um, it's going to be a lot of yapping, so stay tuned. We're back. We're coming up on two straight hours of podcasting. Yeah. Um, Par for the course. This is the final episode of King Oger. What was it called again? We will rule the world. Yes. King Oger final. We will rule the world. I didn't put the title screen at the start of the discussion of this episode. Um, I just didn't want to. It feels more proper to discuss it at the end or to show it at the end the way it should be especially because specifically with this episode it happens at the end yeah if it happened you know after the song like usual i would have thrown it up here but no song what did you think i really liked it uh it wasn't as huge as the last episode because last episode was crazy but this was a very great send-off and a very good way to finish king oger yeah yeah and that was gonna happen i think um last episode was the big it felt like what everything was leading up to yeah everything was leading up to um so this episode was sort of the period at the end of that sentence and that I, I I get that. It's kind of it kind of reminds me of Gaim's last episode, where the ending of Gaim technically was him just going back the episode the episode before it. Yeah, and then the epilogue was at the end. The last episode of Gaim is months past. Michi now has to do what he has to do and yeah. stuff like that. Um, there is still this fight that happens here. Uh, you know the actual fight, and that's more akin to past Sentai where you do get to the final fight. It's just with King Oger specifically, that huge fight happening the episode before, that huge conclusion felt like uh, it felt way more earned here than throwing it at the last episode. I don't know. I liked how they did it, but I do get that this was not as big as last episode, and that was going to happen. Um, that payoff was the last episode, and that, the last episode before this one. It was just magic um typically in sentai you get a final roll call yes uh helmetless or full you know no suit at all roll call um this one was really cool because it was a roll call with their nation with them <laughs> yeah yeah um with their backs especially the, that felt great especially since that's what the whole series was about you know kings and everything um so that was really cool this you like right you like how much how many people live in sugar yes dude I, I like how the contrast between all the other nations and then sugar Dam is just bam all of them yeah and that's why they're like the most important kind basically country they get to call the shots for everything yeah because they're the biggest um I wish, I kind of wish, I don't want to say it completely because I get why I did it. Uh, Rackless also did a final engine with them. Yeah, he was, he was already in suit. But, you know, this is not, it's their moment. It's the actual King's moment. 
So we do get this cool shot where they're all about to Ogai Bissou. And then we get the title card. So nice. No intro, because we get it later. Um Lollipop, because every piece of King Oger Media is important to the King Oger story. Every little detail. And this, do you remember what this is from? Yeah, it's from the uh, the story of Rackley's. Yeah, it was with this was a thing with the uh, the girl there. She was a big sweet. She was into sweets. Yeah, and whenever he says thank you to the sweet, he's really saying thank you to her. Yeah, very sweet. Who died? Yeah, because of that weird chameleon. Really, really because of Wiseall. Uh, Garo Jim. Garo Jim. Kami Jim. Kami Jim uh speaking of uh this was cool i like that he had a chance to fight him um but i do really enjoy oh the he just fucking took this hit straight up he just took it dude um but i like that he acknowledges it's not his final blow to deal so um seeing rackless get to unleash on him for a little bit that was awesome uh we even got to see Quite a bit of blood in this episode, yeah, too. Yeah, a lot of splash effects going on here. A lot of blood. It's great. Uh, again, something you don't really see in Sentai. You see sparks in Sentai, uh, but this one got sparks and blood. Uh, and then, of course, Destin Rock did not go with everybody else. He had unfinished business. Right. He had to take care of uh, Kama Jim. And he dragged him to the underworld, basically, uh, where he's going to die. Again and again and again, again and again and again and again and um, again. And that was cool. Those arms he used was from uh, Tarantula Abyss. Yeah. Which is this little guy. The one that he didn't eat. And this is yeah. Like, again, everything is important in King Oger. It's so good. Um, to show his humanity, he didn't eat the little spider. spider it, was, him. it was nice that this guy came back, too. Like, he's still here. Um. And though I like that they got him back for this episode too, uh, even though he was done three, four episodes ago, uh, they got to film that for him to show up here again. That was really nice. And yeah, bye bye, asshole. <laughs> yeah, he's done. Uh, and then they do this really cool fight. Everybody does really cool shit. Uh, Kagaragi does this fire spin upwards kick. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Tombo has this. Um, also with him on the ground they're rolling around uh gira has this cool really cool looking uh strike thing uh and then he grows big because that's what he does and they already know what they're going to use to power uh the god 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 king oger um they just needed a vessel that's cool who's missing oh yeah tamba because the uh, yanma because they're over there with them oh yeah yeah they straight up spirit bombed it. Everybody gave a little bit of their lives. Put in this container to help power. God, 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 King Oger. The strongest King Oger. This was cool. It was going to just punch Shugadam. I like seeing that giant fist. Um, and yeah, you see it going. Uh, have you seen Goran Lagan? Yeah, that's what I referenced the other yeah, day. Yeah, everybody on Twitter was also saying this yeah, was yeah. Gore Logan. Yeah, that's um, what I was telling you about the other day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the size of it, mm -hmm. Gurren Logan, the final mech is the biggest mech ever in any canonical fiction works of anything. It's very huge. How, how big? How big is it compared to the Earth? Uh, probably about like an atom. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you should look it up. It's oof. Yeah. And then this poor suit actor, awesome suit actor, uh, strikes a pose. Despite all this. Love seeing the big man in a suit. Yeah, look at that. And then they fight. They go at it. Straight up. Pretty sick. That's a cool pose, too. <laughs> and then, yeah, he actually he still wins in this like clash they have yeah um and then the the the, the soul gems activate yeah and they die yeah just straight up they die 
the bugs, the shoe gods, sacrifice themselves to finally, finally. Oh, oh, it's so sad and scary. Uh, take out Doug Dead. Yeah. Yeah, uh, at first, the first mechs to go are the, all the extras, so mm -hmm. just King Odra is left mm -hmm. by the end. But then, as we see with the big uh, zoom out, they both blow up. Yeah. And yeah, there goes Doug Dead. The infinite void. And this is sad. He's missing an arm, right? Like, his arm got taken off too. Both arms. Oh, wait, no, the ladybugs. Oh, no, yeah, you can see both arms still. Ladybugs are right there. The hands missing? This is a weird. Oh, you see a horn missing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, his glass case finally broke. That little water bear. Yeah. Dead, yeah. Dead this whole time, which we knew. Um. And they just strike that, and <laughs> it pops. Goopy mess, like like it. And then yeah, he dies, and this is their walk-off celebration. Little high five, fist bumps, and they go back and they celebrate, ce ce celebrate. <laughs> I like this shot, not for Gira or the little girl and boy, but for Rackley's crying over there. Yeah, he's he's so tired. He's crying with Duga because he's done. He's done. He threw away his whole life for this, and it worked it did it. it there was hiccups but he sacrificed his whole life yep. and it wasn't even him that did it It was his little brother well, he he did it to to that end he, mm -hmm. he that's what he wanted um you guys are okay the the well the, the gems are because that's their soul yes and yanma says you know he'll he'll get to work on making them again so they'll be back like it's fine like how tanma Ooh. Like how, like how Tomboy said, like Yanma, uh, in the beginning, the shoe gods are just machines. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have their souls. Yeah. So we just gotta make new parts. Yeah. So that sort of character development there, where he maybe now sort of believes that they are hmm. living things. Um, this is cool seeing the retainers. Hmm. And they're here. So we didn't see how much time passed, but they're working on making, they're dropping all the borders. Yeah. One unified nation. Uh, and of course, because they're all idiots, I said it, um, they're fighting over what to name it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I don't know why, really why uh, Kagaragi wants the middle part of the name. Maybe it's because he knows shorthand people would just refer it like that. Right. He he says, if it's all fine by you, I'll just take the middle. Yeah. And then Gira says, I know you're just trying to be modest, but you think that the middle is the most important, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I like that hurt. <laughs> Everybody is saying a different version of the name of the proposed country name as like spices of other names together. Yeah. But she's like, well, what's wrong with great Ishibana? Like, the name of her country. Fuck yeah, it. just make it the whole world. <laughs> uh, I like how the serious she is about that too. Um, but yeah, they're just fighting again. Because they're idiots. But they, it's not serious. They do it. Even Gira smiling about it. And I had to get another shot of Duga because boy's the goat. He really is the MVP of the show. Yeah. Man, Duga's been in it. Yeah, he's great. Oh man, that shot of... Uh, what's his name? The other sword, Boshimar. Boshimar, the twin blades of telling him something Kugudam. and then him like cracking. Yeah. Whew. Um. So here we have another show where it ends with the bad guy Mook, the bad guy. <laughs> the stagehands and the Bugnarok? No, but the, yeah, the Bugnarok, but what are they called? The bad guys, the little minions. Yeah. Where they end up being good guys. Yeah. Assimilating with the rest of the world. Uh huh. This did it so much better than Geats. And I just said yeah, that I like yeah. Geats. Um, and I think what helped it a lot is that the main quote unquote human 
that helped bring them here was a good guy hero character. Yeah. In Geats. In Geats, that dude's an asshole the entire time. Terrible person. Terrible, by the way. <laughs> um, so seeing this isn't like, man, like he was a bad Why is he? No, it's like, hey, look at this. Yeah. Um, it also helped that they did it so much earlier in the show. Uh, that's true halfway through yeah halfway through instead of the last five episodes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh i dreamed that we could have them live among us what um but yeah it's really cool to see bugner rock uh just chill i wish i had a udo of them um yeah i had to get final shots of where all the king ogres are as well they're all satisfied their countries are, are good uh, i guess that's like a borrowed judge from yeah. Uh, uh, Gokan. 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 Yeah. Damn, man. I'm tired. I think. Guess. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the councilmen. I think. Yeah. I know that's a reference to something. I just don't know what it is. The eye thing. Yeah, I know that's a reference to something. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, oh this God. is like what? Rita. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> damn. Um. But they're like bringing law to the this country too you know they're just they're changing up a bit of technology and tofu this is just showing how all the countries are working together it's all a melting pot now and there goes uh yanma also with the big proud smile his new computer ishibana with the foods food and uh himeno reading about Mo mofun it's a mofun comic trying to get more familiar with her future wife uh partner excuse me uh and then yeah ishibana in uh gokan it looks like she's doing a good job she's taking over basically yeah, yeah pretty like. much and He's that might be implied with what happened everywhere um we can see the retainers because he's supposed to be a retainer, even though he's like, like all of the others. Yeah. Of them all being active in the country while the king is, you know, just chilling. chilling. Except for here. Sebastian's eating his ass off. I, mean, yeah. I didn't take a picture of that because who cares? Uh, would rather see her. And yeah, we see Rita. Oh, no, this too. That was nice. This is what he was sewing. This is what he was knitting the whole time. Oh, really? A scarf for her. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And seeing them smile at each other like that, it's great. He's hopefully going to have a pretty good life. Hopefully. He's still a prisoner for life. Yeah, but she's... I mean, he most likely got a reduced sentence because he helped save the world and all that. Yeah. Um... And she, you know, she's fine with being like a housewife. That's like what she wanted. So, also, she's like she's queen of Sugardom, still. No, because uh, years back they thought he'd gone. Remember they were in space and she True. took over. So, so does that take away her reign? <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Because uh, he is. He had the crowning ceremony. And everything. That's true. That's true. That's true. <coughs> Rita sleeping nap time finally resting <coughs> the dead sleep yeah yeah and during this moment hold on give me one second tony you go ahead during this moment uh she, oh yeah as he's narrating and everything he finishes off his narration he has to go um do the final trial but he says take care of a castle for me we have lots of work to do and i have lots of things to see because now he's mortal um i like that jeremy was narrating it again uh just like the beginning of the series it came back to jeremy narrating the rest of this. And he even says if you listen to the story that means we won and uh um, yeah i want you to keep telling the story to everybody uh this i don't know if that means that they're are you imagine they're going to space yeah that's what i thought uh, everyone because the way jeremy was narrating it was like if you see if you hear this that means we won that was very me thinking like 
okay, they won, but now they're going off to explore more. And that's what everyone's doing here in Shugadam. They have a team and they're going to go explore the space, but I guess not. I think this is just them exploring Terra. True. Um, and Jeremy here, uh, he says something like, we have to go, they have to go do something. And we see them here getting ready to henshin. I think this is going to lead right into the next versus movie. Oh, okay. Um, which is either going to be King Oger or Kyoyuger. Or sorry, Don Brothers or Kyoyuger. Uh, depending on the order they're going to... I think it might be Don Brothers first. Um, we got a trailer for that, by the way. We'll see some pictures for that later. Um, what the heck? Hit a button. <clears throat> um, but yeah, there they go. Messing with Gira again. Uh, they even say we will conquer the world without him, which is very much something he would say. Uh, and yeah, it ends with him saying Ogai Buto. Uh, thought we didn't notice that, but we did. Ogai Buto. I'm supposed to say Buso, but whatever. Um, <laughs> he thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. That was. Great. That was King Oger. Uh, I want to say it was my favorite. Okay. But it's not. It's connected to your favorite. It's still Don Brothers, I think. Well, it's Kill Yeah. But I meant like of recent. Oh. Um, King Oger was great. And it did a lot of great stuff. I just for some reason I can't put it at the top top top. I feel I, f I feel like I should. I feel like you want to. And not until I get that sword, I think. The memorial Odric caliber. True. Maybe. No, I'm kidding. Um <laughs> What do you think of the the show? Overall, I thought it was it was a hiccup. No. Overall, I thought it was very well-rounded, very well-received, and very in-depth with everything it needed to. Like, there's not a skipped beat. There's not a stone unturned with everything it has to have. Every gun that's described is used. Chekhov's gun. Everything that they laid out, they did. It's not like a week-by-week, week, piece by piece. They have to fix things in production and they have to do everything with this in the script. No, they made a story and they executed it. It was very satisfying to see. Especially with such a great premise. Like kings and queens. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, I gotta think about this. Maybe next week I'll have a better answer. Um, or better conclusion in my head about where I would rank this, but it was high for sure. This is one of the best Sentai series ever. For sure. Watch this if you're listening to this. I don't know why you listen to this without watching it. Um, King Oger's Goat. I think so. Yeah. That was King Oger. Yeah, I'm gonna miss these guys. Um, so... I have a couple pictures and tweets I want to look through uh, just to help reminisce King Oger and, and really celebrate its, its goodbye. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to minimize that, actually. We're going to move this whole browser over here. And this is the show blog for King Oger. Last episode. In um, Japanese. Yeah, it's all Japanese. I could translate it, but we're looking at pictures. Final episode script. This is the thing that uh, Himeno Ran leaked on accident. That's how he found out there was 50 episodes. Um, she didn't show the inside stuff, but she did show this on accident. Himeno Ran, Erica, uh, the actress. And I think that's on, yeah, that's on the back of it. Look at all these awesome guys. Even Grody's there. Doug Dead's there. The other jesters. How much would you pay for this? Uh, twenty dollars. That's a damn good deal. 
Uh, so we got some goodbye uh, bouquets. Have you seen these? No, I haven't. This is Gero Jim. Gero Jim's voice. Nice. What? I don't like him. Oh. <laughs> no, he's cool. He looks like a... That's the Gokaiger equipment voice, too. And the narrator for the show. Oh, yeah. For Gokaiger. Uh, I guess he had a voice. Spider-Mom. Of course. Uh, I should translate this, and then <laughs> I just moved on. Uh, I guess I guess one of them is Doug Dead. Doug Dead, though. And Kame Jim probably. Uh, yeah. Even the suit actors. Oh, that's nice. Got their flowers in the suits. Great stuff. Even the robot even the man in the rubber Look suit at that that's the best that's pretty good actually and then uh oku got of course jeremy with his uh bug people i guess they're just fucking around maybe they are fighting uh this is just a great shot that's a great shot from the last episode this is where they're working hey look it's the void bunch of green screen this is how they had to act that's crazy yeah this, the entire series uh you know Rand's parents boshimar uh karas and i always forget her name uh ishiran no i don't know her name either uh rita oka no Boshi? you're pretty you're 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 better at her name than i am okami he starts with an i i think itadori her name is in Iroki. Damn it. I was, oh, I was trying to get it so quick, too. Iroki. I went to the episodes, uh, too. And they even have this cool behind the scenes pictures of them with the swords and then of them pensioning. Uh, this great scene, of course, in Boshimar being emotional. Devonica. That's the director. Nice. She came back. This fucking cool shot. Look at what they have to work with. That's crazy. This looks so much better. This is I, the I, void. It. Well, the void has a screen, right? Yeah. That's the thing about the void. This is just green screen shit. Um, how it comes out at the end compared to what they're working with. It's easy to take for granted. But this looks they they they, they, they do a lot with what they have. Like, look at that. That's all just green back there. But the lighting here works. Look at the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Deca Master. Oh, nice. Got his flowers. Uh, Ishibana resident. I'm sure these are important people, but I don't remember who they are. Tusume. That's just a cool, that's cool. Uh, these guys. Oh, the wheelchair girl. And the head nurse. And the head maid. And there he goes. Oh, we get to see his face. Yeah. Look at her. They, they even highlighted that again. Um, this crew. It's the, the best crew. crew. Uh, the dork. Yeah. Course, the nerd. Little kids. Boon. This fuck. Gira, take a picture with them. Let's go. Oh, nice. Uh, Common Rider. Yeah, Common Rider Kabuto. He's a he's a Kabuto writer. Oh, Morphonia. And you're gonna like this picture. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. That's so nice. There you go. Yeah. The Bastion. Huh. it's really cool when you see how happy and supportive they all are these are all i'm sure what they said 
That is so interesting. They they recorded and they shot everything where they're in clean clothes. So like the last episode was probably the first thing they recorded in or shot that session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when they got all dirtied up and had mm -hmm. to mess up the outfits, that was the real last thing. Yeah, and look, Yan was back there. He's not in costume. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay. Little inside baseball. There he goes. Nice. There he goes, Duga. He's not in costume. Yeah. Nice. And then this cool shot. No, that's pretty legit, actually. Oh, there's the void for real. Oh, no. Reckless. I'm going to get emotional. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And yeah, see? Look at that. Look at that. That's how they... What they have to work with. So cool. And then, of course... Like, you picked him up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, of course, this is the ending. <clears throat> mm-hmm. There's a director. They got their flowers. Oh, yeah. They did it. Look at them. Nice, dude. They did it. That's a, just a great shot. I can't right click on this site. Oh, that sucks. It's not worth zooming in because it's going to look like ass. Um, There's the void, by the way, in the background. By the way. By the way, that's a terrible, so, sandwich, that's a terrible sandwich, by the way. We also got to see what the upcoming so i think yeah like i mentioned the uh at the end it looks like they were gonna go fight something that's why they're changing anyway um i think it's gonna lead into the brothers special um the synopsis of which i believe is everybody died okay that's why they're all there everyone's dead mm -hmm. and they think they each did it to each other Oh, that's the Don funny. brothers think the king just killed him, and the king just. Yeah. Um, they might not even be dead at all. We don't even know if there's a villain for that special. Yeah, true. Which, par for the course for Don brothers. Um. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but I have some some pictures from Twitter as well. We're gonna see some some other stuff. New form. Or both, kind of. It's the same kind of thing we got in Zenkaiger. Yeah, they just put the 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 gold plate on him. Mm -hmm. It they looks switched, a lot better. They switched armors. Basically, with all that happened. Yeah, I'd say all, but uh, we also see uh, the Kyoyujer King Ojer stuff, and King straight up gets a brand new form. We see oh, King okay. Kyoyu Red, and we see uh, you know regular gold him. This is I'm gonna assume Gira. Because yeah. he's like evil in this versus movie. Um, that looks sick as hell. Yeah, he has the the first shoe gods. I mean, the the, the first. Oh yeah, the, um, like suit. Uh, uh, shield thing. You can also see right there on his left arm that skeleton stuff that was on the uh, first king's thing. Mm. Also, he ha his undersuit is Doug Dead's, and he has that universe. Yep black hole uh, yeah black hole on his thing i love how his undersuits dug dead that's so cool it's so nice and then yeah gira there's a better shot i think next in the pictures but gira also gets a whole new thing that looks like kyoyuger yeah come on they can make a whole new yudo set from what we've seen hope they do um yeah more again these pictures good stuff the Emissary from Hell, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. That's a legendary shot. That's pretty good, right? It's really nice. That's, That's pretty good, so right? good. It's pretty uh, inside baseball. Yeah, for this like is... two different things. There it is. There it is. Yeah. 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 Sorry, that was a quick pit stop. Uh, again, just more pictures we already saw, but they look way bigger and nicer now. Oh, nice. I love they gave the suit actors their flowers. If they're real. Uh, King's back. He's real. Let's go. Um, his new form is straight up Gawutira. That's that's the mech on his head. See, that's a version of it, but that's just straight up Gawutira. So good. Oh, then, then, yeah, these are just some of the tweets from the cast. 
of them like saying goodbye and stuff. Oops. Let's go. I'm gonna whoop your ass. That's her, by the way. Uh, oh, is it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Nice. Pretty good. Oh, and way back then. Yeah, what? Yeah. Back when she was in there. <laughs> That's really nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What the hell is this? It's from the trailer for the Kyoyuji special. Oh, cool. Yeah, yo, he's back. Kyoyu Violet. Uh, this was the one impossible get everybody thought because she's such a huge actress now in Japan. She's in high demand. But she came back for this. It's amazing. I love it. Um, she's even in a henchin. You see her with the gun in the episode in the trailer too. Uh, Kill you gold. My favorite sixth. I can't wait to see him come back. He's so sick. Um, yeah, there she is with the gun. There they all are. Oh, and him, I guess. <clears throat> Here we have a full shot of everybody coming back. Wow. Uh, you can even see Kyoyu Gray and Kyoyu Sian. So it's on oh, Kyoyu Silver. No Rackless? Actually, no Rackless. But it is all 10 Kyoyujers. Oh, 11 now, I guess. And then uh, all the King Ogers. Pretty freaking sweet. There's that picture again. There's that picture again. Yeah. This was just adorable. Nice. Bye, old man. Let's go. How many more times are we going to see that? This was just. Oh, you see, that's what that's what I would have wanted. It was a good final episode. <laughs> this is Don Brothers. God damn it. Yeah. Where they watched. Oh, I'm about to, I was about to slam my table. They watched the finale of Comrade Revice in their fucking show. Yeah. God damn, Don Brothers. I swear to God. Whew. Oh, yeah. I had to get the goat in here, right? Duga. 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 Oh, here goes Erica. That's full on what she looked like. Yeah, in the beginning. We didn't see any of the dress in the beginning. No, in, in her final. Oh, in the final. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, we didn't see any of that. We didn't see the dress at all. These guys. I tweeted about this but there will never ever be a better behind the scenes picture at the end than this one every year do you know what this picture is right no what is it you don't know who they're with i'm assuming they're suit actors yes these are always the, like in sentai in common writer 2 in tokusatsu a character is never one person it's rarely one person it's the actor and the suit actor and that synchronization when it's done right you don't even think oh they're not in the suit because when a lot of people when they first get into after knowing about power rangers and they get into sentai and everything i've experienced this a lot in my life they are shocked to find out that the actor is not in the suit when you get like i said that good synchronization you don't even think about that when you see that it, it's just it's it's magic the best examples in my head are Kyoyujer and Gokaiger. In those two, the suit actor and the actor are so in the same mindset. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I love seeing these. It's 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 the suit actor with their actor. That guy right there. Gokaiello. Oh, nice. Old man. She's new. Otherwise, that would have been who's playing. Uh, what's her name? Rene? Majade. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have been her. All these pictures? Yeah, man. Yeah, the pictures. And bye, they're gone. Mm. First picture. 
This is from Sony. All these people. Look at all this work. Look at that fucking guy in a suit. Poor guy. Everybody else. <laughs> uh. Again, see if that cured your power up. Is there? Her Twitter. He said goodbye again. Kick some ass. Oh yeah, the nerd also got flowers. Look at all them sugar down back there. And then, come on. Click on the image and it got. Smaller. Yeah, I, if I do this, I can. No, nope. yeah, even smaller. Holy shit! But it looks it's bad resolution. Yeah, it's stretching it. Um, and then, right before recording this episode. Uh, they announced some more toys and we're going to go. I'm going to go through that real quick. Full action Toba Spino, which is a repaint of Koyu Red, the Gabutira. Full action, all that stuff. And full action Zakutor, Ankidan, Bumpaki, and Parasagan. Um, there they go. They look great new finishes uh full action not really because these guys don't really do much anyway um but they are compatible of course uh, with kyoyujin and toba spino um hopefully this means we are going to get um uh, terra gold on uh so that's gold what would be left is gold violet and silver the, if they do those if they've done this far, hopefully they'll do those three as well. Uh, but each of those three can make a mech on their own. Um, so we'll see how they do that. Uh, did... Let me see if Toe Collectibles made a pre-order page for them yet. New pre-orders. No. Not yet. But I, I want to see how they're going to sell them. Because it might be where these are one package. And that would be that'd be cool. That makes sense. Um, so I hope that's what they go for. Look at that. That's from the movie. This form is from the movie. That's how I have my mini plus set up right now too. Um, this is good stuff. Mina, she's playing. She she plays video games all the damn time. Smash Bros. She's played Smash Bros. Mario, she's a Nintendo fan for sure. Overwatch. Here's the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Roblox, of course. Ring Fit. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here before Tony gets back. Although he edits this, so he's gonna hear this anyway. <clears throat> all right. I think that do you have anything to add to the end of king Oger? let's see i'm glad we got all our endings up in a neat little bow i would have liked um an episode a secret episode 51 or it's just a, a prologue but like how you said if this is leading up directly to the movie which it should that would also be very cool. Yeah. Overall, I liked it a lot. Oh, one more thing. Um, we're gonna get a movie cut version of the last three episodes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, director's cut. Nice. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll rewatch that. Yeah, I, I I probably will. Um, and talk about it again. But that is far away from now. For now. We've reached the end of our podcast episode. We did a podcast? Yes. Wow. I have been Super Blastex. Remember to follow me on Twitter, uh, TikTok, YouTube, where you are now. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the show. Uh, thank you for listening. And I have been Toku Tony. 
You can follow me everywhere at Toku Tony, except for Twitter. On Twitter, I am Tony Toku. Thanks uh, again, guys, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. We want to hear everything. Bye, guys. <laughs>